Article 725 of the Electrical Code specifically addresses low-power circuits that are not an integral part of a device or appliance. These circuits, including those used for burglar alarms, access control, sound systems, nurse call systems, intercoms, low-voltage industrial controls, lighting dimmer controls, and certain computer networks, are categorized under Article 725. The primary goal of Article 725 is to establish specific conditions that allow low-power circuits to be distinguished from electric light and power circuits based on their usage and power limitations. This distinction enables modifications to the general rules outlined in Chapters 1 through 4, which apply to electric light and power circuits. When a circuit qualifies under Article 725, the material and installation requirements can be less stringent compared to those for electric light and power circuits. Article 725 categorizes circuits into three classes based on power limitations, Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3. Class 1 circuits are further divided into power-limited Class 1 circuits and remote control and signaling Class 1 circuits. A common application of a Class 1 control circuit is the operating coil for a magnetic motor starter or lighting contactor. If the power levels specified for Class 1 circuits are exceeded, stricter material and installation requirements must be followed. Class 2 and Class 3 circuits are further categorized based on their power source. Power source limitations for these circuits are outlined in Table 2A and Table 2B of Chapter 9. Class 2 circuits are subject to lower power level limitations compared to Class 3 circuits. It's important to note that Table 2A and Table 2B are provided for reference purposes only. The power source for a Class 2 or Class 3 circuit can be one of the following. A listed Class 2 or Class 3 transformer. A listed Class 2 or Class 3 power supply. Equipment classified as a Class 2 or Class 3 power source. Listed information technology equipment. A dry cell battery, voltage must not exceed 30 volts for Class 2 circuits. Article 725 outlines several requirements for Class 1, Class 2, and Class 3 circuits. Class 1 circuit conductors can share a cable, enclosure, or raceway with power supply circuits only when the equipment they power is functionally associated with the Class 1 circuit. Multiple Class 1 circuit conductors can be housed in the same cable, enclosure, or raceway. Class 2 and Class 3 circuit conductors are not required to be installed in the raceway. Class 2 or Class 3 circuit conductors cannot be installed in an enclosure, raceway, or cable with power or Class 1 conductors unless they are reclassified as Class 1 circuits. Class 2 and Class 3 circuits can be installed with Class 1, non-power limited fire alarm and medium power network powered broadband communication circuits, but only if they are separated by a barrier. When Class 2 and Class 3 circuit conductors are mixed, the wiring methods for Class 3 circuits must be followed. Due to the low voltage levels of circuits covered in Article 725, overcurrent protection is not typically used for overload protection but is still required for short circuit and ground fault.